Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Bastine. Um, yeah, I've been AWOL for a while. I just wanted to come on here and um, show you for a few things and talk to you a little bit. And um, yeah, um, I just kind of lost my mojo after, during the Christmas holidays, and I didn't even get on here and wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope that your holiday was great. Um, we won't talk about mine because it was just me and it was just lonely and yeah. But anyway, what I wanted to show you today is I'm I'm making signatures and um, I will after I make these I will be back on. But I got in the mail today this package and it was from AliExpress. And I opened it up. I opened it up. And I'll show you the inside. Okay? It's one of those bubble wrap. It's still wet. It is wet on the inside. How? It's not wet on the outside. How does it get wet on the inside? I don't know. Well, what came in this was this stamp. And this stamp. And they were both had water drops on them. They're still wet. They're still, I can still see water inside of this plastic. Now you tell me, please tell me how this happens. Because it wasn't open, but see how wet it is inside? These are sopping wet. They're wet, look. They are wet. I know it's raining outside, but come on. How does it get inside of the package? Tell me. Unless the package was opened, and it wasn't opened. I opened it. It was sealed. But these are wet. The packaging is wet. Yeah, they're wet. I said that a hundred times already, right? But they are. They're really wet. And it, and it baffles me to no end. And that's got stamping on it. Like they were melted or something. This is really interesting. To say the least. I don't know how that goes back on there. But anyway. So, yeah, they're wet. You can see how this is, how wet this piece of plastic is. And it's wet on the inside of the plastic. Do you think they were in a place where it was, they were sweaty? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I'm not going to say that anyway. But in it, yeah, they're wet on the inside. I don't get it. Anyway, I wanted to show you these cool stamps that I got. I thought they were pretty cool. Yeah, this one's wet too. Wet, wet. Just wet. Sopping wet. Not just a little bit, but it is really wet. I'm just really worried why all this is so wet. It was, uh, I have a little chair under my, um, I have an old mailbox that you open the thing outside and it comes in the wall, comes in the house, it drops the mail in the house. Anyway, but I have a chair that these sitting out there because they don't like to put these in that little mailbox because they all get stuck in there. But the chair is un out from the wet. The chair was not wet. The outside of this was not wet. It was only wet on the inside. I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway, 
These are some cool stamps, I do believe. And then I got these, but these weren't wet. Just that one package. I got this stamp. I think that's really cool. That's a cool stamp. And then this one is a background stamp. Isn't that just cool? I love that. The dragonflies and the newsprint on the back. And this one. I just love this one. And there's more coming of these background stamps. I hope they're not going to be wet when they get here. This one's so wet that this thing won't stay on it now. Oh well. So, I will be back. I'm going to make my signatures because I'm, I've been watching Cage Fish, and I'm sure you all know her from Hawaii. When she does any of her collages or anything, she works on signatures before she puts them in a book and before she puts the, the, um, she knows how big to make the cover because she's got all these signatures. So basically that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to be making a napkin glue book, a new one with white paper without lines. And I've got a stack here of, well, they're over over there of cool napkins that I just bought from AliExpress. It just barely came. So I'm not going to sit here and bore you with making signatures, but I will be back when they're all done and ready to be glued on. Okay, I'll be back. I am back. <clears throat> and I have made some signatures. And um, Cage Fish always works in signatures when she's gluing. I think I explained this to you. And she uses um, cotton thread to sew together, but most of the time she will be gluing over the top of it. Now, with me, I am just... Um, this way she can get a full spread across. Um, I think that's all I wanted to tell you. Use glue stick. And I've got a pile of napkins. I got some real cute ones that are new. Some that you have not seen. This one is new. This one's not, this one's not, this one is new, this one is not. These are not new. That one's not, that one's not, that one's not, and that one's not. I, I did two of these. This one's new. This one's so pretty. It's new. This one's new. This one I think you've seen. This one is maybe new, I don't know. This one's new. No, maybe not. This one's new. And this one. And also this one. Isn't that cute, the camel? And this one is new. And I love this one. She is going to make a beautiful um, collage, mm -hmm. focal point, I do believe, and then do different colors of napkins around here. Now, I had this idea a long time ago, and I started a book that was, um, in a composition notebook and most of the pages had um, I had crinkled up and they had 
ink on them and I just wasn't happy the way they were looking and I you know so I had been searching so I decided I was going to make a different kind of book and I have been looking on the internet and watching different people on the internet now cage fish she um glues her napkins with a, a focal point out of an a magazine or something like that. I'm not going to do that. I just want my book to be napkins. And then when I get um, good enough, that I feel good enough, that I can put a focal image on, then I will trade. Now, the purpose of her doing signatures is that she can do a full spread half a spread if she wants but she can take this and set it aside to dry and a lot of hers that hang over the edge she doesn't like to cut that off until they have dried totally like overnight dry and then she comes back and trims them up that way they have gotten hard enough to trim so basically that's what I want to do and um but i just want a napkin book that i can just pull out and turn the pages and look at all the beautiful napkins that's my purpose so this one where did i go um this one, I'll show you how it is. It tore when I pulled the backing off. That's okay, I have plenty of them. But it was really sticky. But with this one, it's got so much empty space here. If I was to put that on a page, I would have so much empty space. So I thought I would you know take this picture off and then have a border around it with a, a different napkin and then put this in the center that's my yeah that's my idea now i will show you i don't know whether i have i think i don't have one of that one but I have all these little napkins that are the smaller napkin, like these, like those. I thought, or even like this one, that something that would go similar to this, but this one won't work <clears throat> and to put this around the outside even this um, you know because these are small and they won't do a whole page but if I took it and just did you know cut some out of it and did a border and then stuck this on the inside of it I think that would look pretty. But the thing of it is, with my other book, I wanted um, it, it, the lines and all of the stuff were um, peeking through the napkin. And, and I, and it was, I just didn't like that. I wanted white pages. So I made all of these signatures, and I have one over there. I made one, two, three, four, five. I made six signatures, and I might make more. And what I used to make these signatures were this. I had this sketchbook paper that I have never used and never probably will ever use. So I decided this would be good paper to do this on. And so it is a 12 by now it's eight and a half by 11, so that's a perfect size for a journal. So I just took the pages and folded them in half and made 
so uh, let's see I think I sewed five pages in each signature yeah so I have 10 pages here to work on but when you work on signatures like this you can instead of having to put a wax paper inside and turn the page you can set these over to the side to dry and then take another signature to work on now I want to show you something else that I got in the mail today I ordered these because I don't know just because I was looking at sewing stuff because I don't have much threads and stuff so I did find one little spool of thread of white thread but I ordered all these all these threads off of Amazon and they really weren't very much I haven't opened them yet but anyway let me see if I can get in them so you can see I got all these pretty thread and they're really pretty different colors because cage fish binds hers books with um, thread so anyway I'm not I'm not trying to be like her and I'm really trying not to copy her I'm just taking inspiration from her and learning from what she does and trying it so but I want to give her credit so then anyway and then I thought well you know I can't thread a needle very well so I bought this and this is supposed to be you stick your needle in there somehow you stick your needle in here and your thread and then you go like that and thread your needle so I'm going to have to practice and see how this works. But you can set it on your counter and put your needle in there and, yeah, thread it. And you're done. I thought that was pretty neat. So I got that. But then I saw these. Oh, and also she uses plastic packaging to rub over her... Um, napkins so it's real easy so they don't tear because they are really delicate look at this cute tin isn't that cute and anyway look what's in it look at these itty bitty itty bitty clips aren't they cute look at that is that just cute so I got a thousand jillion of them, but what they're supposed to do is keep you from using, um, when you're pinning material together to sew something, these are supposed, you're supposed to use these to clip your material and then sew up to it and take it off instead of poking yourself and making yourself bleed on your material. I poked myself poking holes in the signatures and let's get back to this and um so I don't know if I can cut this and use it I don't know anyway I'll save it so anyway and then I have a brush with a little bit of water in case I want to cut something out and I don't and if you're going to cut out a uh, a napkin it's better to leave the backing on but I have pulled all the backing off of this for people who are new and watching this you want to pull the backings off because if you don't if you leave this white paper on the back this will glue to your page but and this will come off because it's not adhered to this so you always want to pull your backing off now I need to find something that's going to go that's going to look nice with this as a border i'm going to take this out 
and see how much because I think I'm trying to um, find a color that matches this and I don't think I'm gonna do, get that so I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of water and I'm going to this way I will not have to cut it I can tear it on the water part and I'm gonna have a straight edge down here that I'm not gonna be too happy with so there we go now I could leave it like this or I could piece it out I can piece it out these little focal points or I could leave it like it is to go in the center of the page and have it it's going to be too big so I'm going to take the edge off because I don't like this edge I'm going to carefully try to take this edge off without tearing too much of the print on it. That's what makes it bad when you like a print and it's down in the corner. And, um, oh, and another thing, you want to have, I have a dry wet wipe here and I need a wet one to get the um, glue if I get glue on my fingers because you don't want to have any glue on your fingers or it will stick to your napkin and you will be sad when it tears your napkin I'm telling you you'll be sad so I'm just gonna pick this off now this might get to be a long video, so hopefully you're interested in enough to stay in. But if you're not, I'm glad you came and checked me out. And if you would, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. YouTube really, it has nothing to do with, with me about subscribers, but YouTube likes to see that on your videos and also if you'll ring that little bell so you get notifications when I put up another video okay that is gonna go I want that to go in the middle of my page so I want to have napkin around and I'm thinking I'm thinking that blue matches that blue in that and also this matches this and I can have both of these as a border I don't have to just use one and then I also have this napkin that has um, all the colors in it basically except for the beige I think this one's a little too dark and I could also go with something like this as a border but I don't want this pattern to take away from this pattern which it will so we won't use that and we won't use that and I have also this one that's sort of it's got more of the purple in it purple and pink which I don't I think that takes away from the picture so I am going to use I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use this one and 
I'm just going to I'm gonna piece it on guys and I, I want a, a straight line like so I think that will be really pretty so I'm going to this has got a little hole in it and I'm gonna measure 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 she say measure I think about that wide of a yeah of a line, you know, a border. If it's too wide, then, well, you know. We will trim it down. So, that can go on something like that and maybe I don't want it that wide because I don't want too much of this sitting over the top I don't want too much of that underneath showing so I'm going to Keep working on this, make it a little skinnier. It doesn't have to be straight, it can be jiggy zag, jiggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy. might even need to be smaller than that it's okay if some of it actually it's not I don't want it that wide but I do want that straight edge on the bottom So I'm going to take a little bit more off of here. I'm sorry if you're bored. I've had a real hard time getting any mojo. And you know what I have come to the conclusion of? That when you sit and watch a lot of crafters on YouTube trying to get your mojo back, you lose it even more because you don't know where to start again if you're watching all kinds of different things. Now, I knew I wanted to do a, a napkin glue book. And so when I saw, um, Carla on cage fish I decided yep that's what I want to do but I don't want to be exactly like her but I'm trying um, I, I'm trying to put my own little spin on it but it's gonna turn out to be almost like hers but I'll give her credit she gets my credit. I give her a thumbs up. So anyway, talking about um, 
subscribing, if you will, if you haven't subscribed, if you would do that, it costs you nothing. It just helps me out to make you talk, YouTube see that people are watching. And please comment. Please leave me a comment. Comments are really important to me. I know that you're watching, and even if you just come on and say, oh, that was just terrible, or oh, I really enjoyed that, or, um, you know, say hi. Just say hi. Comments count, too, for YouTube. They like that, unless they've turned your comments off, which they haven't done mine. Because my, my videos are not for children, because... There's not any child that I know of that would want to sit here and watch me glue napkins down on a piece of paper. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see what we want to do here. If we want this on on the this one. want that one or do we want that one? I think we want this middle one. So I'm going to take that one out. And see how this works. So I'm trying to get ready because I have not very more, many more months here. I'm trying to get um, packed. I live in Cincinnati and I am moving. Okay, the story goes like this. I met my husband on YouTube, not YouTube, on the internet. On a, not on a dating thing, but it was, um, I don't know if you've all, any of you have heard of Pogo.com, but we were playing games on that, and I met him in there, and so, but he lived here in Ohio, and of course, me, I lived in Utah. Well, we, long story short, we started um, really getting interested in each other and talking to each other on the phone and sending each other pictures and music and all that stuff. Well, he was going to come out to Utah, but I told him not to because I had a boyfriend out there that I was afraid would hurt him badly. Oh shoot, I wanted a straight edge. Well, I didn't get a straight edge, did I? Shoot, I need a straight edge. So, it's going to have to be this one. I can't take one out of the middle. And I don't want that writing. So anyway, I decided that I would come out here. Besides that, he um, had a lot of medical problems. He had a lot of heart problems. And he had his own doctors and everything out here. And so I decided to come out here and meet him. And I hopped on an Amtrak um, train. And it took me three days, <laughs> but it was fun. I like riding a train. It took me three days to get out here, and sure enough, we we knew the soon as we looked at each other at that train station that we were in love. We were, yeah, 
So I stayed out here. I was going to go back. But he proposed to me. And that was that story. So that's how I got to be out here in Ohio. So that's that love story. So I uh, stayed out here and married him and I have been here for 12 years since 2007 and maybe it's thir 13 years January 31st I think 13 years it'll be 13 years anyway um, now I'm going to have to put more stuff in here and in here. So we're going to take more of this napkin and piece it in here after we get the borders done. So I'm going to make one more of these borders, or a couple more, to go here and here. I guess I could put that one there and um, just cut it off straight when, yeah, I can do that. Do this one. So he we um, were living with his mom and sister for long enough. And in 2015, we moved into this little house that we're renting. And In 2018, just a few years ago, he passed away with cancer. Well, a month after we rented this house, he was diagnosed with cancer, lung cancer, stage four lung cancer, which broke my heart. And they gave him a prognosis of probably just a year. All right, guys, what do you think? Do you think I should just go with one color instead of mixing this all up? I think I should just go with this. But I'm not going to use that piece because it's got that gold on it. And that was too skinny. I think I'm just going to go with, I've got plenty of these napkins, so if I run out, if I run out, I can always go to the drawer and get them out again. I think that will look better with it. I do think that will look better. Alright, let's get going on it. Uh, let me go hang on a minute. I'll be right back. I'll go get another of those napkins And I'm not gonna go very far. I will be right over here Just right over here It didn't take me long because they were right on top of the drawer So anyhow, um his cancer mass, uh, metastasized to his bone and to his brain, and oh, he was a mess. 
And after it went to his brain, it was, I knew it was close. I could hardly take care of him. I, I just couldn't do it. He was a handful to take care of. He was like a, a two-year-old and brain cancer um, makes you not, well, it made him so he didn't sleep. And uh, neither one of us were, I wasn't getting any sleep. He, I would try to give him medicine and that's what hospice told me to do was give him medicine to make him sleep. But um, it didn't. Okay, I'm going to take the backing off of this. So anyway, the story goes, he passed away. So now there's nothing out here for me. There's, you know, his mom passed away in Matt. In March of 2018 and he passed away in April I mean September of 2018 so there's nothing out here for me and all my kids and all my grandkids did you see how I did that I just scratched the corner to release all these little glue things on there and then it lifts up really easy and some of them have to layers and some of them only have one layer this one is i'm lucky only has one layer i'm pulling that off so um yeah so i i went out there for a vacation last i drove out there last summer for a vacation with my two little doggies and um decided I was so happy, um, and I knew that I wasn't going to stay here. I, I knew I wasn't, and the only reason I'm staying till April is because that's when my lease ends, and, um, and to get this money situation taken care of. But, that's another story. Anyway, um, so, um, when I got back from my vacation, I had an email from the management company stating that the owner of the house, she lives in um, Miami, Florida, and she's decided that she doesn't want to mess around with this house anymore. And I guess she's, she's a lawyer and, I, and she works for a firm out there and I guess she's going to stay in Miami. And um, so she's putting the house up for sale as soon as my lease is up. So... That's when the kicker came in that I was really planning on moving. I wasn't going to stay here for that. And um, I'm just going to put all my pieces up here. And I have another napkin of the same thing that I'm going to be piecing out pictures. And I might, I might piece that out too. I don't know. Backing's already off of that one. The backing's not off of this one. Anyway, so, um, I'm trying to pack and get ready. My two boys are flying out the last week in April, and they're going to, we're going to get a truck. All right, I'm going to use glue stick. We're renting a truck, and um, this is where you need a wet and a dry to dry your fingers off because you don't want any glue on your fingers. And you want to get this glue all the way out to the edges. And 
in that ditch really good. And I'm using Yuhu glue. I found that I like the Yuhu glue better than I do the uh, Dollar Tree glue, and I've got a whole bunch of that Dollar Tree glue. And I really should have a piece of paper underneath this one so I don't glue my pages to shut. Glue my pages shut. You don't want to glue your pages shut. And probably another piece over here so I don't glue it to my mat. So anyway, um, yeah, that is my story and I'm sticking to it and... So I am getting that in the ditch really good. And it's not, no, I can't lift it now. It's not quite on the edge. And I didn't get quite enough glue up there. You just have to be really patient with this. This is not a rush. You can't rush your napkins in order for them to look good. Uh, you have to be really patient with it. And try not to get any glue on the outside. And then you're going to take your little plastic thing and you're going to rub it because it is, your napkins are very delicate and you don't want to tear them. These napkins need to go somewhere. They need to go over there so I can be in frame. Now, if you get glue on your piece of plastic here you need to be able to wipe it off and dry it and I need to go in that ditch really good when you're gluing over a ditch you need to really get that glue in there and I can see I didn't get it straight on the bottom but you know what I am not perfect and um I cannot be perfect because that's just because you can't be perfect. There's only one perfect person in the whole universe. Anyway, I'm rattling. Anyway, so now I need a piece to go here or, oops. Where are my side pieces? My top piece. Can go up here. And I'm going to turn my book around. sure this gets on the edge I guess I should put my glasses on my eyes and sit on the top of my head I need a drink my throat is getting horsey thank you for letting me have a drink of sweet tea get this page done because I have been trying to get it done okay I want to get that glue really good in that ditch And 
I probably shouldn't have gone all the way out to the edge because my thing isn't all the way out to the edge. But here we go. So I've got it on the edge there. On the edge there. <laughs> How about that? I didn't get it on the edge there though. There we go. I probably don't have enough glue up here. Now I want to get that glued down really good. Alright. Now we're going to use our little plastic piece to make sure that it's Clean. Push it down. And you still can tear your napkin if it has any glue on the outside of this that will stick to your napkin. It will it will tear your napkin good. Okay, let's see. I need to dry my hands off. All right. Now we got to do the sides. And that's going to fit right on there. In fact, I can pull it up. No, I don't want to pull it over. I can put that, turn it this way. Oh my gosh, you guys, it has rained here for so many days. I'm going to have to build an ark to swim out of here. Mm, that barely fits on there. And that side doesn't fit. Let's see if this one is any longer. Except for it's not white enough. It'll be okay. It'll be alright. I hope this didn't have two pieces of white paper. I don't think it did. Here we go.
I need a smaller glue stick. Wipe my hands off. Now I could have had a straight edge on the inside had I wanted to cut this with scissors, but it just gives it more interest when it. when it is I got glue on that when it's torn I think my kids will look at this after I'm dead and they'll say why did mom tear those edges like that why did she do that why did she make a glue a napkin glue book why did she do that and I can see that my edge down here is not glued. Sometimes it's better to make your edges longer so that you can just cut them off and then you'll know that they're glued down. To having all these little strays. Now, I got a problem. Because I got glue all over this page. Back here. That's not good. the only problem okay let's get this other side on here and we will have built our frame I should get a magazine, then I could turn the pages of the magazine. To glue on. And my in frame. Push that down really good. Anything that's over the edge, I'll trim off after it's dry. I can tell that I probably should have used um, thicker paper because I'm unexperienced in this and this paper is not quite... It, it, it probably it'll be okay it's gonna have to be okay
All right, any of those edges that are not glued down will probably get torn off. Okay, now our focal point, where did it go? Now, I can either do this and put it over here. like that and then I can get another one or I can let's just glue this one down for right now I want it to cover all of the spaces. Okay, here goes nothing. And the thing of it is, is I can't glue on the back of my napkin. It will tear the napkin. Now, you only have one chance. I smell somebody making brownies. wishful thinking that I want brownies either brownies or a chocolate cake I can smell it is that phantom Okay, clean my fingers off. Clean my little plastic thing off. You want to get all the little air bubbles out. Clean this off again. It got it got glue on it. Make sure you make sure you uh, watch that. Because it will tear your piece. It will tear your napkin, but good.
I can feel glue. And see how nice that goes on. Now I gotta find another piece to go on the other side. I'm loving it, guys. I'm loving it. There's some glue right there. Okay, now, what are we going to do with this other side? I'm just going to tear this. And I might have to piece. Don't stick. Oh, I'm thinking that looks really pretty. I think I am going to, it doesn't match up, but I don't care if it matches up or not. I think I'm just going to put it in like that, and then I'll cut these edges off. No, because i got to bring it over here. Oops. I'm going to put this in here. Like this. In that ditch. And then I will just piece out something here. Lots what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Here I go. Is it my glue? It might be my glue that smells like chocolate cake. Yeah, it's my glue. My glue smells like brownies. <laughs> How weird. Who would have thought that you who glue would smell like brownies? I hope I got enough glue on there.
Don't stick. Don't stick. Don't stick. Guys, you guys, you guys. My glue is going to dry before I get it in here. Tear, don't tear. No, no, no. I got quiet because I have to think. I'm not gonna have a big enough piece. Okay, we're not going to use that piece. We're going to use this one. I got a whole bag full of these napkins, guys, so... It'll be okay. See, it's a lot better if you have the backing off. To cut these if you want a straight line. Oh, well, that one's got a hole in it. Okay, hang on, hang on. I gotta get another napkin. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna pause you. Take a break, guys. Take a break. Okay guys, I am back and I went ahead and I did all this because it took me a long time to piece all this in here and of course this is when it dries overnight I can peel that off. But I just wanted to show you the final page and I probably won't be doing many of these be on video because it took me so long to do it. But anyway, if you like it, please let me know in the comments and like i said please subscribe and um yeah maybe you want to make one of these glue napkin glue books it's going to be fun and i think after it's all done and put together it's going to be beautiful just to turn the pages and and look at the different napkins all right Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.